What's up guys? I am back today and unfortunately the computer took a dump so I have to completely reinstall everything. So today I'm figuring out something else to do again, kind of like my last uh, most recent video. <clears throat> um, there's something I run across on YouTube called hydro dipping. It's pretty much uh, you use a bucket of water and most people, professionals who do it, um, use film, but it's a way to paint stuff pretty much. You dip whatever object it is you want to paint in the water with the film or paint or ink and it completely coats the object. So it's a really cool way to paint stuff. So I uh, also found that you can use household spray paint and just a bucket of water. So I'm giving that a try today. And I figured I would try it out on some stuff laying around the house. Uh, here I have a knife that I've disassembled. Um, most of you know I play Call of Duty a lot. Um, and on Call of Duty, they have different skins that you can unlock for different weapons. One of which is the melee knife. Um, and they have really cool Damascus skins. So I'm going to try it out with the bucket of water. Um, I've got different colors here. I bought a bunch of different colors. But this is a metallic turquoise. Uh, and then I've got a gloss brilliant blue. And then an apple red. Uh, this is all Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's paint and primer. So just in case you're wondering, I'll leave everything in the description below for any of you who might want to try this. This is my first time ever doing this. I have no idea how this is going to go. But uh, from what I've seen other people on their first attempts, it usually turns out pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've seen anybody really try a knife yet. And I figured it was a really cool idea since, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer. I play with weapons on Call of Duty that look cool like that. So I want to give it a shot. Uh, I've seen people do guns. I've seen people do shoes. A lot of people do shoes. That might be coming soon. But uh, I want to try the knife. That's the first thing I'm doing. So let's get going. Okay, so I just got done with the knife. A um, couple lessons learned, I guess. Um, <clears throat> the blade turned out pretty cool. I have to say, color-wise, um, uh, I want to say the metallic blue, yes. The darker blue, no. Um, that's, not, that's not really the look I was going for. I mean, it still turned out okay. Um, hold on. So here is the blade, and then there is the actual like handle piece. I probably should have disassembled the entire handle because the paint got in the area where the lock mechanism is and the kind of flip mechanism to uh, spring load it out. Uh, but like I said, the blade itself turned out okay. Let's see. I'm letting it dry, but not too bad, I guess. It's got that Damascus swirl towards the end closer to my finger, but uh, yeah, I guess the tip of it too, I've kind of peeled off because I stuck it into the wood to dry. I could just lay it down like that, but uh, yeah. Eh, eh, that kind of metallic is what I was going for. I should have just used that in the red. But, uh, yeah. On to, on to the next thing, I guess. Let's see what else I got to hydro dip.
Okay, so in case you're wondering what the red and black objects were, uh, those were both sides of the handle to my slingshot. I just found my slingshot that I've had. Figured I'd try it out with the handles. I don't know, it turned out really freaking cool though. That red and black pattern really turned out pretty cool. I'm just letting everything dry right now. Uh, the whole point of me trying this is my wife's been like obsessed with these water bottles. She's been buying me and her and everyone on the planet, a bunch of them. So uh, I have an extra one that we got because it has a dent in it. It's black. And I figured I would try hydro dipping my new water bottle because um, I have like two other ones. So I figured why not try it out on one of them. But I wanted to do some test runs first. And after that slingshot handle, I think I'm ready to go. All right, so slingshot handles were done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my water bottle, which right now is black. Um, I'm not sure. All the water bottle videos I watched people hydro dipping them, they were white water bottles. Um, never seen someone do a black water bottle. But I'm gonna go with gloss black and a satin blue. Uh, see if I can get that cool looking swirl effect and uh, make it look awesome. Let's get it. All right, so just finished up everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run through everything that I did today and uh, everything's dried pretty much. So uh, yeah, start off with the knife. Um, I went ahead and on the handle part here, I went ahead and scrubbed off everything that uh, was on there because I didn't like the way it turned out. Um, not overly excited about the blade. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad. It's got, I'm going to need to put some sort of finish on it. I'm going to have to put a finish coat on all of this stuff. I don't know spray paint wise what I'm going to need to buy, but uh, yeah, to protect it and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it turned out all right. Not too bad. Um, yeah, not my fave. But on to the next one, the slingshot I put back together. Um, this thing turned out pretty freaking cool. I love it. Um, again, I don't know if I can kind of smooth off because... The paint, when it dries, spray paint has a tendency to kind of get kind of rough and not bubbly. Uh, sometimes it'll get bubbly, but I don't know. It's not that, it's not that as smooth as I want it to be. But uh, it turned out pretty cool, I think, because my father-in-law bought both of us slingshots a while ago, and this is a slingshot that's his. Uh, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I like the little swirly design. It almost looks like a Pootie Pie's gaming chair or something. But uh, I think what turned out the coolest was the water bottle. This thing turned out pretty sick. Um, as you can see, that black gloss has that kind of shimmer, shine to it, whatever. But uh, it turned out really freaking cool. And uh, I'm excited, but... I sent a picture to my wife and she asked me the genius question of how are you going to wash it? So I'm going to have to look up and see how these people are doing it because I have no idea how I'm going to be able to wash it. I know I'm going to have to hand wash it. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to put this thing in the dishwasher, but uh, yeah, it turned out pretty sick. So very happy with how the water bottle turned out. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep practicing and uh, try my hand at some other stuff, maybe some other water bottles, because like I said, we got a crap ton of them around the house, but uh, maybe start selling them or giving them away. I'll do giveaways, I don't care, but uh, I'm sure here shortly, I'm gonna have a bunch of people asking me to do this for them. So I enjoyed it, it was fun. Uh, definitely, like I said, some lessons learned. Make sure you wear gloves. Uh, I wore gloves and I still got it all over my arm. But, uh, yeah, hands are fairly clean compared to most people's. But, um, 
I don't know. Maybe if you can have some sort of apparatus to grab hold of whatever it is you're dipping into the um, reservoir of water so that you don't have to put your hands in there. Because my main concern, which surprisingly didn't really happen, was I was worried I was using my hand to dip the items, the pieces, into the water. And I was worried that where my hand was placed was going to cover up the paint from actually attaching to it. And it didn't. Uh, you can see it's kind of smudgy, but it still turned out okay. I love it. I think it's badass because, like I said, instead of just a plain black, I made my very own design. And it's unique. It's mine. And I'm excited because I have another one right here. So, yeah, that was interesting. Very interesting. I uh, highly recommend it as like a kind of quarantine activity, even though quarantine's pretty much over now. Uh, it was fun, it was interesting. And I'm gonna be doing some other stuff, probably some shoes because I do like to draw. I have a couple ideas for a pair of tennis shoes that I want to do. Um, I might have to get some different paint colors though. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, you know what, if I happen to get a bunch of views on this and somebody wants this one, I'll do a giveaway. Leave me a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know here soon if uh, I'll be doing a giveaway of some kind. And stay tuned. Peace.